All right, fellow Vikings, welcome back. This time, we're dealing with a mosquito issue. So, as many of you know, there's an issue when you have ponds that, you know, you grow mosquitoes. That's, that's a thing, you know, and because this is a newer pond and we did the TV show last year, most of our frogs are completely gone. Um, the, so we, we have a crap ton of mosquitoes in there. Luckily, I found a completely organic, completely safe way of doing this, all right? Uh, and I'm going to share that with you in a minute. I keep looking back there because my brother's dad is uh, walking this way. <laughs> I think he's hiding behind a tree. And my sissy's walking that way too. Go say hi. Yeah, anyways. All right. Mosquitoes. Major issue. You know, West Nile and all that kind of crap is, 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 is an issue. All right. But we want to prevent that. But we want to do that safely. I mean, I could go take and dump a gallon of bleach in here. I'm not going to do that. Why would I do that? That's ridiculous. All right. I mean, th that would do the job. Oh, focus. <laughs> that would do the job. But, you know, the... I'd rather do it selectively so I'm not just killing everything. I want the, the tadpoles that are in there to survive, right? I want, I want any kind of good stuff going on there to survive. I just want to get rid of the mosquitoes. Ugh. So I've given you two hints already, and it's these guys. Mosquito dunks. These things are freaking awesome, right? They, they are uh, certified to be able to be used organically with an organic, uh, um, what do you call it? set up for your your foods and stuff so if you're concerned about that that's a thing all right what it is is it's this uh it's various um forms of bacteria that actually eat or attack the um the mosquito larva all right so you drop one of these little dudes inside your pond or inside a stagnant piece of water and the bacteria goes to work eating these guys um and you don't have any mosquitoes anymore and they don't go after anything else other than mosquitoes so let's test this out Right, I, I've I've heard the claims, and normally I would just use bleach because, well, you know, mosquitoes suck, right? But like I said, I don't want to have to do that, so let's give this a try, right? I, I let's test this. Here's a shot of what we're dealing with. I'm not zoomed in at all, right? There are literally thousands of mosquito larvae in here. All right, I got this thing. The time right now for me is 17.45. I just looked at the clock, 17.45. That's uh, 5.45 for your civilian time, so you guys can get that. Um, I got this little disc. This All right, is, let's this wait a right while here is see another one of our figs. Yeah. So, right after starting this video, we had a pretty big storm come through and the pond was completely fooled up. So I wasn't going to continue making this video. Like I, I basically said, screw it, I'm done. <laughs> um, anyways, anyways, all right, I do have an update, all right. Uh, after like just literally about an hour and a half after throwing the little disc thing inside there, inside the pond, it, it actually started killing them. Like, I, I started breaking apart pieces of one and, like, tossing them where the little dudes are, and it started killing them. But it didn't wipe them all out. Like, there, there was still some there. But in this application, in my pond, it worked perfectly, all right? Because it it gave the natural predators here, the, the frogs and such, time to catch up, all right? So, yes, yes, it worked not in the scale that most people would want, but perfect for my means. And if you have a pond and it's a, a decent ecosystem, right, then I wouldn't even worry about it. Because you toss in one of those little duck dudes and it uh it, it, it eats the the larva stage of the mosquito and more mosquitoes come and make babies and all that, but your frogs are gonna be making babies too. And check this out. Those are now mainly tadpoles. 
right? You see some of the weird squiggly dudes down in there. Those are the uh, the mosquitoes, but mainly those little black dots are are tadpoles. They're super small. Our frogs here are really small, so I didn't expect to be major, but they were like here. I'll show you where the eggs were. Uh, and I'm in the shot. Look at the camera. <laughs> there you go. See, that's where the the frog eggs are. Or you can see some still in there gestating. They might be. They might not make it. You know, which is fine. But for example, this right here. If I can get them, quit squirming away, dude. Those right there are the. Uh, um, what do you call them? Mosquito larva. All right. See how they move? Then I'm gonna take you back over here and show you these guys again. Ah, oh, mud. Almost fell. Look at these guys right here. They move completely differently. They got the little tails, they squiggle with their tails. See that? So yeah, the uh, the tadpoles now outnumber our uh, the mosquito larva, meaning that we're now able to uh, manage the mosquito population safely and properly, you know, without any kind of major work having to be done, you know, and, and we now have major frogage, man. This is cool as hell. Anyways, guys, I'm done for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.